All right, g'day guys. It is Ben here from Hunt the Night. Now, what we're gonna do today is have a quick look at this new zeroing system from Hick Micro. And honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed they've released this because I provided them feedback on a test version of this software as to why this doesn't resolve the issue. And I'm gonna take you through why. Um, everyone knows that, you know, the Hick Micros aren't real great to zero because these numbers here in our X and Y coordinates are only changeable by a factor of one. Now, at 100 metres, that's about 2 MOA. And I'm doing this at 30 metres, so this isn't going to look as bad. But if you take this information and stretch it out, it gets worse and worse as you go along. And that's all well and good, OK? And the, and the root cause was, being a factor of 1 and not being able to zoom in, there was no way to do any fine increments. So what they've done is they've now allowed you to zoom in in here while you're zeroing and you can change these micro adjustments, okay? Now, I'm gonna change it. Actually, what I'm gonna do first is show you when it does work. So I've changed it to eight, all right? And when I back out of this uh, zoom and I go down to one times, you can see now my X coordinate is now minus one and when I zoom in, my crosshair has moved over, okay? So what I'm gonna do now though, is change this to zero. I'm gonna put it back. And now when I zoom in, my crosshair's back to where it was, just to the right of that target. I'm gonna change this to a factor of seven. And then I'm going to explain why this is a problem. So if I go now to a factor of seven, and I go back to one times, you'll see my x coordinate is still zero. And now if I zoom back into eight times, you'll see my crosshair hasn't changed. It's gone back to where it was. The problem is, it is doing a calculation, it's taking this at eight times, it's dividing that X or Y coordinate, whatever it is, by eight, rounding it to a whole number, and adding it to the X or Y down here. That X and Y is not fractional, so you still don't get micro adjustments. So this whole ability to zoom in and, and change these adjustments actually doesn't work, because no matter what you do, it's gonna come back down to a whole number. So, they're on the right path to fixing this, and I provided them this information, but their attitude was, we'll fix it later, which I find actually quite kind of disappointing. And I probably shouldn't say bad things about Micro. I love Micro, but I'm really disappointed about this. Now, this is gonna be the same problem. This is the same problem in the Thunder as well, which I'll do another video for, um, just to prove it. But, but, here's the but. In this firmware for the Panther, it fixes a whole lot of other issues that should have been fixed from the get-go as well, okay? It's now got continuous ranging. You press the range, find a button, it no longer takes a photo. It now takes an actual, um, a, 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 an actual distance measurement. And if, you, if I block that range finder now and take a distance, you'll see I've got the red marks up there. It actually now tells me when the distance has failed. So it's fixed a lot of the functional issues that the Panther should have been right out of the box with anyway. Um, but the zeroing system, yeah, still not fixed. Anyway, guys, that's it. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.